Okay, so we uh, just started learning uh, the definition of current liability. All such obligations to be settled a period not exceeding 12 months. And before 12 months, you need to pay and finish it. Mm. Right? Examples. So if you write example here, we have uh, state pay. So when you write trade payables, also you can write creditors. Trade creditors. Same meaning. Two different names. Sometimes we only write uh, without the word payables. You can write creditors. Payable and creditors, same meaning. Same meaning. Same meaning. Uh, in, a, in a broad sense. Then you have something called Accrued expenses. <coughs> now, what is accrued expenses now? Uh, before I ask you that uh, 1900, 2000, now the opposite of this. Now, electricity bill coming 2200. Mm. I am now sending 2000 real with Ansari. Now, uh, but what is my expense? How much is my expense? 2,200. 2,200. Mm. How much I paid? 2,000. So 200 I need to pay. Yeah. That yeah. is a good expense. Mm. For how much you say? Yeah, no, 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 Bank overdraft. These are the examples for uh, current liabilities. So you have uh, now we define we now see if I now rewrite the accounting equation. First, our accounting equation was like this. SRT yeah. is equal to here to accrued expenses, right? Yeah. In here, provisions for expenses also comes under uh, yeah. A provision I deliberately don't want to bring it here because uh, that has some additional discussion. Okay. Yeah, but provision also one example within a code expense. Uh, asset plus, sorry, asset is equal to capital plus liability. This was the equation we learned here. If you go back. Where is the equation now? See? This is the equation we learned. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to expand this equation a little. How? I will expand this. NCA. What is NCA? Non-current non asset. Plus CA. Current asset. Not calcium. Huh? We mm -hmm. studied chemistry, mm -hmm. they know calcium. C plus NCL plus CL, not chlorine. Chlorine, you know? I know chlorine. Mm -hmm. So, uh, non current asset plus current asset is equal to capital plus non current liability plus current liability. This is a, a, a revised equation now. Now we will go for an example. Mr. A purchased a motor van for dollars thirty thousand. Motor van. Uh, for dollar thirty thousand, using a bank loan to be paid in two years' time. Okay. 
Now using this situation, we then have to redraft the equation. What is our last equation? Example. But where our last equation example? Can you go back to that? Our last example is here. Ten thousand. Sorry. Ten plus ten. See this one. Auto power of the thing. Auto my goodness. Okay. Auto. Okay. No, okay? No, one line will off. Very well. Okay. Into Okay, if it's off, it's really off. Okay, that is the only solution. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so, you see? In previous example, Except I have cash at bank 10,000 and uh, inventory 20,000, which represented by owner's capital 10 and creditors 20. Now it came 30,000. After that, now what this Mr. A did, he needed motor van to do this vegetable business. He went and purchased a motor van using a bank loan. Motor van is an example of which type of, is an example of what? It's a non-colored asset. And the bank loan is an example of non-colored liabilities. So now what we do, uh, we have uh, assets. And the SH we have non current asset. What is the example of non current asset? We have motor van. How much is that? 30,000. 30, Do I have any other more, uh, non current asset? Yes. No, any no, other non current no, asset? No. We don't have. So the subtotal is 30,000. Current asset. What are the current assets in the previous example? I have two current assets. Cash at bank. How much? 10,000. 10, Cash, sorry, inventory, right? How much? 20,000. 20. So the total of these two? 30,000. So 30 plus 30. How much? 60. 60. Very good. 60,000. This 60,000, we name this as total assets. assets. We name this as total assets. Now, this represented by capital. Owners. Capital. How much? 30,000. No. Owner's capital, how much he introduced? 10,000. 10, 10, 10, 10. Then, do I have any subtype, the subcategory for capital? At the moment, no. So I can take the subtotal, correct? Then, liabilities. Under liabilities, I have non current liability. What is non current liability I have? Bank. Loan. Correct? Yeah. How much? 20,000. 30,000. 30,000. 30, 30, so, do I have any other non-current liability? No. Or so, yeah. So, I will take this subtotal here. 30. And current liability. What is the current liability I have? Trade? 20,000. Yeah. Trade? Payable. Creditors, yeah. Trade creditors, trade payables. How much? 20,000. 20, Do I have any other than, sorry, current liability? Hmm. No. So then I can take the subtotal. Now we take the grand total. The grand total of this number, this number, and this number. How much will get? 60. 60. And this 60 should be equal to? 60. And this is, uh, this you name it total. 
capital and liabilities. Is that clear? This uh, picture is clear for everybody? Mr. Baha? Yes. You okay? Mr. Nasik? Yeah. Okay. Right, now let's continue. Let's expand the equation furthermore. See, this man, this Mr. A, uh, invested 10,000 and he bought 20,000 worth of vegetables and he got a van for what? After all, what he wants to achieve in this? Why he did all this? To do some business. Now, why he want to do business? To make profit or loss. Now we are going to expand the equation with the new term profit. So let's see how that term will come. So a non-current asset plus current asset is equal to capital plus, see I am writing like this. This is a new term. P and L I have written within bracket. P yes. means profit, L means yes. loss. So we need to define that now. What the meaning of the word profit or loss? Adi, can you define what the profit is? Profit is an income. Profit is an income. Income earned. No. Profit is a surplus from the business we. Uh, In a way, that's correct. Profit is the difference between cost and the sell. Cost and the uh, selling. 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 Yes, sir. What is your idea? Yes, it's. Yeah. See, profit. Uh, what you told was income earned. Income is a top line. Top line means sales or revenue or turnover. Just by earning income, we couldn't say that we are making profit. In earning the, that particular revenue, we may incur expense, right? We need to make sure we are exceeding our earning by the total cost of the income. If the total income or the total earning, we call it also revenue, total revenue greater than our total expense, the difference is known as Profit. But if the total expense is greater than our total income, then alas, that's known as kasala, meaning process. Understood. Mm. So, uh, in equation I can write profit. Let me change the color. Profit is equal to total revenue minus total expense. Sometimes some books write total cost. You could use either total expense or total cost. So, when TR is greater than TE, that is very important condition. TR is not TR Jendra, no? <laughs> uh, that's uh, one guy in India. Okay. So, uh, here, for you to have this answer, your total revenue must be greater than total expense. Then the difference is what you call profit. But if the situation is like this, loss, total revenue minus total expense, where total expense is greater than total Now we will uh, write this in our sentence. This is an equation. You can say that profits or losses are profit or loss are the income over its expenditure 
sometimes we can raise cost in form of expenditure. Are the income over? Are the income over expenditure? Meaning income uh, example ten thousand, expenditure eight thousand. So when the word when I use this income over expenditure means ten thousand minus eight thousand. Mm. The difference is two thousand. So uh, I dot E dot for profit for profit income should be greater than expenditure for loss expenditure should be greater than income faham to yes must be understood guys uh, inshallah next year we will teach acc in arabic <laughs> Yes. Yes. I hope. You hope, huh? You pray. <laughs> Inshallah. Because now I am studying Arabic. No. This one is uh, exhibiting. Uh, what is uh, the spelling? Exhibiting the. Ah, uh, expenses is spelling only like this. E X. P E N S C S. Expenses. Sometimes you also write another word. Expenditure. Both uh, same correct. meaning. Expenses for other expenditure. In uh, in Arabic, what is that? Masrubat. Masrubat. Okay, now we will uh, try one example. Okay, Mr. A will you stop at six thirty. Okay, six hmm? thirty will you stop. Mr. A uh, sold vegetables. Finally, he found a customer. Vegetables for twelve thousand five hundred riyals. Dollars. <laughs> dollars, yes, two thousand dollars. One question in yeah. the exam, like we should always put the currency. Uh, no need. No they will give uh, currency there. By default, currency will be written. Uh, 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 now see, uh, mostly in exam, uh, you will have a box like this. Okay. You need to type answer here, okay. but the currency will be they will type. Okay. You just need to type the number. Also remember, you don't need to use comma. Decimal you don't need to use. They will say that in the exam condition. When you see the exam condition, you will find that out. That when we do questions, we will do it. Inshallah. Okay. So uh, that is that. Anyway, Mr. A sold vegetables for twelve thousand five hundred dollars, uh, of which, of which. Of which five thousand for cash and seven thousand five hundred on credit. Seven thousand five hundred on credit. The cost of the vegetables. Ah, nine thousand. Cost of the vegetables are nine thousand. Now sometimes the examiner. Now here you see they use this one. The cost of the vegetables are nine thousand. Examiner try to be little bit tricky. He will not say all this. Instead he will say the vegetable worth nine thousand was sold. The word worth. Means all this. All it proves. Okay, so it's a you know interchange of use of words. It may come, but don't worry. Revision kit. If you practice all the question, all different types of uh, usage of words are there. 
understood. It's clear. You have a question? Again, uh, what, what I'm saying, when I read this here, yes. last sentence, the cost of the vegetables are in. You see, how much he sold? How much he got from yeah. customers? Yeah. 12,000. Yeah. The, he purchased already some vegetables. Yeah. So of that vegetable block, yeah. 9,000 yeah. worth of vegetables sold. Yeah. So that's what we are saying, the cost of the vegetables are 9,000. Yeah. Instead of these whole sentence, the, uh, the, word, the 9,000 worth of vegetables are sold. Yeah. He may say like this. So then we should be able to understand that this is the cost. And those are quantity balance. Thousand is there. Sorry? Yeah, uh, the difference between uh, 12... Uh, yeah, what is that? Uh, tell me. 12,500 I get. It's credit. No, not credit. Now, if you read the Baha again here, Mr. Lay sold vegetables for 12,500. Okay. Correct? Correct. And he got this, of this 12,500, he got how much cash? 5,000. 5, so, but what was the total invoice value? 12,500. But how much cash he got? 5,000. So, what is the difference? 7,500. What is that 7,500? Credit. Credit. That's one story. Same. That's one story. The other story is, now I have sold for 12,500. Hmm. But for how much I purchased this? Hmm. 9,000. 9,000. 9, so, the difference between these two is what? Profit. Ah, yes. Farm mm. 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 Now what we need to do, we need to calculate the profit to loss. Father, 12,500 Nagas, 9,000. 12,500 minus 9,000. Very good. Now we will incorporate this in our equation. Assets. Non-current assets. Now what is a non-current asset this man has? He purchased what? A motor vehicle. A motor vehicle. How much was the motor vehicle? Any change to that? Anything happen to that? No, the mahala, it's running well. No accident, no, no problem. So, the value is 30. Current asset. What current asset he has? Cash at bank. How much cash at bank? Uh, 10,000. 10, Any change to this? Yeah, but he's 7,500 he received. No? No, how much is it? Who, who told you 7,000 is it? Ah, sorry, credit here, yeah, sorry. Okay, any change to this 10,000? No. No, but he received 5,000. That is what? Cash in hand. hand. How much? 5,000. Now, what about this 7,500? How does it look? Trade receivables. Trade receivables. So, that also my asset. Mm -hmm. Trade receivable. So, trade receivable other 7500. And now, how much vegetable he has? 1000. No. 20,000. 11,000. For inventory. Twenty minus nine, sir. Eleven thousand. So can we take the totals of this? These are the thirty thousand. Are the total total? Uh, any other uh, um, uh, uh, total? Should we allow it? Ismail. 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 Six one five. Sixty five thousand. Nali. Lala. Alamas. Alamas. Oh. 35? 15? No, no. 15, 22, 500 plus uh, 33, 500. 33,500. Now we take the total of these two. Other come, other. 
Please remember, the profit is owned by whom? Owner, right? So, how much is the profit? Three thousand five hundred. So, the total of these two, thirteen thousand five hundred. Liability. Under liability, we have non-current liability. What non-current liability I have? Bank. Loan. Loan. Any change? Must be changed. So, so how much? Thirty thousand. So I can take the subtotal. Thirty thousand and current liability trade. Creditor, how much? Seven seven hundred. Yeah, yeah. Trade creditors. Twenty seven. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand, but your 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 share. So, here? Yeah? Oh, no change. Okay. Other okay. maybe change, sir? Right. Baha, you okay? Okay. So, 20,000 meaning. So, the total of this. Now we take the Ijmali of these three. It's the same. It should be same. Yeah. 63,500. This we call it. Total capital and mm. liabilities. Clear? Yes. Are you okay? Mm. How are you? We can bring the cost of goods from uh, other state. Uh, I don't understand. Yeah, like uh, purchases, uh, stock, first stock mm. plus the purchases mm. minus last ah, stock. Yeah, yeah, that we will do yeah. when we can do the profit and loss account in detail. Mm. This is still we didn't come to that level. Yes. We are still doing equation. Okay. The same thing. This is the same thing. You know, Makala people. How they do misanya? This is them. Mm. Yes. That's the original mm. way of doing accounting. That's the root. Mm. So we need to understand this root to come to that. So later, inshallah, when we do a profit and loss account, balance sheet, then what you're saying will happen. Okay. okay. So can we go to the next equation? Non current asset plus current asset is equal to capital plus profit total which we know now I am introducing a new word minus D D is what? drawings plus non-current liability and current liability you see end of the day the owner when he go home if he go empty hands what is the treatment he will get at home? Big uh, kick the even the you know the what the goalkeeper also cannot block in that kick. So he the owner need to take something from the business to the home. The taking something from the business to the home by the owner, we call it drawings. Drawings. Understood. So now uh, we will uh, define drawings. Withdrawals. 
by the owner for his personal use. Now, if I ask you a question, this domain should not only be cash. No, indeed, indeed. it can be. Even uh, any other items also. Vegetable. It can be inventory. Hmm? Vegetable. Ah, vegetable, yes. This man has to take like vegetable at home. Yes. Because uh, his wife needs to cook uh, rice for him, no? So, otherwise, it's a big problem. So, he can take cash or he can also take goods. So, the drawings can be any one of these two. So, now you can say that Mr. A. Example. Yeah, continue. Mr. A. Mid drawn. 2,000 cash and 1,000 vegetable for his 2,000 cash and 1,000 vegetable for his personal use now let's uh, rearrange the equation Assets, non current assets, motor vehicle. How much motor vehicle? 30,000. 30, Mafi change, so I take the subtotal. Current asset, cash at bank, uh, other 10,000. Cash in hand. How much? Yeah, no, not five thousand. What is the gap now? Four thousand. Three thousand. Three thousand. Yes. So that is three thousand. Thou understood? Yeah. Uh, Adil? Yeah. Okay. Then uh, the receivable. Hello, Mr. Oh. Uh, trade receivable. How much? Seven thousand. Five hundred. Inventory. Now it comes ten thousand. Need know the cost of this ten thousand. Uh, of uh, this thousand. Yeah, thousand is the cost. It's cost, okay. See, if the owner taking one uh, item Why from cost? the, ah. he should take only by cost, no? Yes, yes. So same like uh, perfume yes. taken by Abu Talib. Okay, now 10,000. Yeah. This is uh, 7,500 uh, from this uh, before? Yeah. yeah, that is receivable, no? Before that, in your previous example, you should have yeah, this one. Okay. okay. So 11,000 minus 1,000, now again 10,000. 10, so we take the total of these three, these four, 13, 23, 30,000? 30,000. 30, so the Ijmali uh, of these two? 60,000? 60, 500. 500. And we say that total assets. That's good. Now, uh, capital. Under that we have owner's capital. Owner's capital how much? 10,000. Oh, it's 10,000 only. Profit? 3,500. But drawings? How much? 3,000. 3,000. So you have to take the total of cash drawings and goods drawings for 3000. So how much 10,000 plus 3 by minus 3, it should be 10,000? 500. Ah, please. Adil, you okay? Yeah. Then, uh, liabilities. Other non current liabilities. We have bank loss. 
Background, I think 30,000, no change, sir. Correct? Yes. Yeah. And then, current liability, trade creditors. Bardu, it is also no change. How much? Current liability, I think 20,000. So we take the total of these three. 20, 30, 50 plus 10, 60,500 total capital and liabilities. One last example is there. You do that and go, or you want to stop now? No problem. Only one more, one more, one more equation. That's a final. Okay. So now this is uh, this equation. You see, if you see here. We have introduced non-current asset, current asset, capital, profit or loss, drawings, non-current liability and current liability. One last item coming in this that we will discuss now. Non-current asset plus current asset is equal to capital plus profit minus profit or loss actually minus drawings plus CI. So what is CI? Capital introduced. Or sometimes you call it capital additionally introduced. Actually it should be additional capital introduced. Additional CI. Yeah. I is simple. I is simple. C is capital and C. It's the way I have used to write. But different style you can write it. But the meaning is additional capital internet. You see in business what happens, you start the business on 1st of January 2020. You keep on running, this is going well. On the 1st of July 2021, now you need some additional 500,000 yeah. So uh, we have to bring this money, then the owner says okay, I will bring this money. But that is on top of his original capital. That type of capital you call it additional capital. Plus NCL plus C. This is the last extreme version of additional capital. Yeah, introduced. introduced. Additional capital introduced. Uh, remember that this is the last equation. After that, our stage. Yeah. This is the last one. Yeah. yeah. When under the topic of accounting equation, this is the last equation. There is no more to this. In this case, we cannot uh, add uh, this amount in draw from uh, current uh, owner. You mean here? No, no. Here? Yes. See, this is drawing. He is taking out. This is his bringing money. Okay. Yeah. Uh, same in one You mean uh, net uh, net net yes. Yeah. When you are doing the accounting, mm. you will do that. But when we are doing our calculation, we need to segregate and do this. Okay. So under the partner's current account, drawings and whatever the additional movements, you will record it there. That's correct for the accounting purpose. Okay. But for the calculation purpose, we do like this. Okay. Okay. Now we will do one small example. Mr. A, same Mr. A, introduced 25,000 cash as an additional Business need. How much? 25. Yeah? 25,000. Yes. He's, 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 he's very rich man. Huh? Introduced, Introduced 25,000 cash as an additional business need. Yes. An additional business need. So, uh, assets. Assets under the non current assets, then we have motor vehicle. Palatina Aba. Clear? Current assets. Cash at bank. Any change to cash at bank? No. 
Pimples. Cash in hand. Now how much? Three sir. Uh, no, now he bought twenty. Already, uh, already he has three thousand. Three thousand. Now he brings twenty-five. 20. So it should be twenty. Twenty. Receivable. Any change? No. Now seven thousand five hundred. And then inventory. Again, no change, right? The last inventory, how much? Ten thousand. Now please take the total. 10, 20, uh, 48, uh, 55,500. Am I right? Is it 30? And other? 57. 57? Mm. No. No. Can't be. 10, 20, 48, 40. plus 7,500. 55,500. Take the total of this two. So eighty-five thousand five hundred. Masbut? Bala Majibus. Majibus. Now is a good time to think about Majibus, huh? Today I'm a full Muslim Majibus. Really? So you didn't tell us now? Now? Capital. Capital. Under capital, all us capital. Honest capital 10,000. Shut. Mm. Then profit. 3,500. 3, 3, 3, 3, mm. Drawings. Oh, sorry, I think 3,000, huh? Profit. Oh, 3,500. 3,500. Drawings? 25. No, no. Drawings. Drawings. 3,000. I'm getting angry, you have to be careful, no? I will throw this on your head. And then, uh, then capital Investor. introduced. Introduced. That is twenty. Five. Five. Now can you take the total of this four? 10, 35,500, 35, Am I right? Then liability. Under that, non-current liability bank loan. Bank loan how much? 30,000. 30, 30, no other information, so subtotal. Then current liability, trade, 20,000. 20, so, so 35, 65, 500 plus 20, 85,000. Is that the same answer? Yes. Yeah. Total, capital, and colors. And. Yes.